Hi, everybody, and welcome to Vivian's Senior Piano Recital. I am Luz Manriquez, and I have been Vivian's piano teacher since she was six years old. We have done a long journey together, a journey in which we have seen each other almost every week for her lessons. And Vivian has always been really like a, a wonderful student. It, I've seen her progress since she was a little girl. I remember fondly her first recital at CMU. Um, she played so musically that all of my colleagues came to me and said, wow, what a musical student you have. I remember since then, all over the years, her winning competitions, her perf beautiful performances, her becoming a real artist, not just a piano player. And I've seen her also develop as a young lady, um, smart, committed, um, with all of the character traits that um, are uh, really admirable. We have to remember that Vivian comes from a, an extraordinary family. The Lee family, each one of them is a gem on its own. I got to know uh, Austin, of course, a lot because I taught him. He also was a great student. And Vivian's parents have been an example of commitment, of excellence, of seriousness, of um, hard work. And definitely they have been a huge influence in the way that Vivian has developed. I remember fondly Vivian's mom sitting years and years in each one of the lessons. And um, as a scientist, I think she observed absolutely everything that was happening in the lesson. And she became so good at coaching Vivian that probably she could have taught her better than I could have done. So Vivian, I want to wish you all the best. I, am, I know that you're going to do great wherever you go. I know that you're going to be an example, that you're going to be a role model. And um, I am very, very proud of having been your teacher for so many years. I am also tremendously thankful to the Lee family because it has been my honor and my privilege to work with all of you as a team. And I congratulate you in Vivian's um, graduation. And I really hope that we stay in touch one way or the other, because I will really, really miss all of you. So thank you so much for all of these wonderful years. Congratulations, Vivian, and stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you all for coming to this senior recital of mine. For me, this recital basically represents the end of this over a decade long journey learning piano under Miss Luce. And along the way, I feel like I've learned a, a lot of important lessons. The first of which is hard work is always rewarded. And that's a sentiment I've always felt, especially after every time I win a piano competition, thinking of the months and months of practice that I put into it and the ultimate result, which is me winning. And the second lesson that I've learned is that sometimes you have to push through some unpleasantness to get to your goal. And because personally, I've never actually really liked practicing piano, doing all the hours of rhythms and slow practice, but I understand that it's a necessary step to reaching the ultimate goal of mine, which is to perform the piece to the best of my ability. So piano has taught me how to push myself through that unpleasantness to reach, ultimately reach that goal. And so for tonight's recital, I'll be playing four pieces. And so you can find those four pieces on the repertoire, which was attached with your invitation. Or since you're on Twitch, you can also type exclamation point pieces in the chat and you'll be given a link to a PDF of the repertoire. So before each piece, I'll be going over a little bit of the history behind the composer in the piece and also some fun facts about the piece itself. So I hope you enjoy the recital. So the first piece I'm going to be playing today is the Sonata in E-flat major by Joseph Haydn. 
And so a little bit of information about Haydn. Haydn was an Austrian composer during the classical era, which is around the 18th century. And he was also known as the father of the symphony. And so this sonata I'm going to be playing is actually the last of his piano sonatas. And it consists of three movements, each named after their respective tempos. However, tonight I'm only going to be playing the first movement, which is Allegro. And a little bit of a fun fact about this piece is that Haydn actually composed it for a certain female pianist he met while he was in London called Therese Jansen. Anyway, I hope you enjoy Haydn's Piano Sonata in E-flat major.
So the next piece I'm going to play is of an entirely different style than the one you just heard. It's the Fantasy Impromptu by Frédéric Chopin. And so Chopin was a Polish composer during the Romantic era, which is around the 19th century. And a little bit of a fact about this impromptu is that it was actually published after Chopin's death, possibly without his permission, but it's thanks to that that I can now perform it for you today. And so a little bit about the piece itself. An impromptu simply refers to a piece that has sort of improvisatory character, which you might notice when I play this song. So I hope you enjoy Chopin's Fantasy Impromptu in C sharp minor.
So, if you haven't noticed yet, looking at the repertoire, the third piece I'm going to play is a little bit different from all the rest. It's called Taiyun Zuiyue, or in English, Silver Clouds Chasing the Moon. And it's based off of this Cantonese folk song written by a man called Ram Guang, which told the story of the peaceful everyday lives of these ordinary people. And so the version I'm going to be playing is actually a piano adaptation by a man called Wang Jianzhong. And so the reason I included this is because, it, because of its Chinese background, it carries a little bit of an extra, I guess, weight in my heart, being from a Chinese family myself. So I hope you enjoy Silver Clouds Chasing the Moon. So the fourth and final piece I'm going to be playing tonight is probably my most favorite piece out of any piece I've ever played in my history of piano. It's called the Rondo Capriccioso by Felix Mendelssohn. And so Mendelssohn was a German composer also during the Romantic era, like Chopin. 
And so this piece, the Rondo Capriccioso, it was actually composed as an etude. And it was only after meeting a female pianist that Mendelssohn decided to add this slow beginning introduction to the piece that made it into the Rondo Capriccioso. So I have a lot of fun playing this piece, and I hope you enjoy it too.
Thank you all for watching. That's the end of the recital.